Ooh. Wow. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene and like the title of this video says, it is a good old fashioned tester Tuesday here on my YouTube channel. If you guys have been around for a while, sorry, I have this little fan going because I am six months pregnant and hopefully you can't hear it. I turned my air conditioning off so that you could hear me and not be distracted, but I just can't with this LA heat and no air, so hopefully this isn't too loud. If you have been here for a while, then you know this is really the root of my channel was beauty, and specifically reviewing products very in-depthly here on this channel of new beauty products, or beauty products I was interested in trying out. And then Evolved, I'm six months pregnant with my first baby, and we're having a girl. If you don't know, I have a whole pregnancy vlog series here on this channel. And I also evolved into Facial Fridays, sharing with you guys professional facial treatments, as well as into the whole ASMR world where I perform facial treatments or get them performed on me. Um, it really helped soothe me and relaxes you. So I think, you know, as we all do, we grow and we evolve and we change, but I felt like it was time to bring back a good old Tester Tuesday first impression, uh, first impression, first impression foundation review because I was really interested in this foundation. This is the High Fidelity Semi Satin Foundation from EXA. EXA is a cruelty free, clean, makeup brand launched by Credo Beauty. For those of you guys new to the clean, toxic-free makeup skincare world, Credo Beauty is one of those retailers that curates and brings consumers a curated list of skincare, body care, and makeup that is considered safe, toxic-free, cruelty-free, without a lot of the ingredients that are on their no-no list. If you wanna learn more, check them out. I also really enjoy Detox Market. So those are two places that I learned a lot when I was delving into the green slash clean beauty world, two separate different things. I really got into the whole clean beauty thing a few years ago, and then I also, like most things, you swing one way, and then you swing the other way, and then you kind of find yourself in the middle. So I like to live my life by the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of the time, stick to protocol, but allow for 20% of, you know, shit happens, life happens, and sometimes we aren't perfect and we don't need to be perfect, we just all need to try. For me, clean and toxic free is maybe not as stringent as some of the clean beauty specific beauty YouTubers out there, and maybe it's more than you, less than you. Either way, I'm just sharing things I'm interested in. I went and color matched myself safely with separate individual disposable testers on myself at Credo Beauty, and this is in the shade Greta 460, so hopefully it matches because I did it myself on my wrist. I didn't want to take my mask off or anything like that. I have a whole playlist of First Impression Tester Tuesdays on here, and even though some of you guys were like, I miss Tester Tuesdays, why aren't you doing them anymore? I was doing them. I was doing them over on IGTV, but I realized a lot of you guys here on YouTube don't watch IGTV or hate Instagram or don't even follow me over on Instagram. So I've been doing it for like a year or two over on IGTV. I will link my Instagram in the description box, and maybe you'll want to see it, maybe you won't. It's okay. Uh, I'll do this. For YouTube, I feel like I can talk to you a little more. We can get to know each other. I can update you on life. IGTV is just like bam, 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 bam. We'll see. Maybe I'll edit this down and put it on IGTV because I vote. I asked you guys to vote on Instagram. Should I put this on YouTube? Should I put this on IGTV? And literally it's 50-50 split. And I've been sitting around waiting for somebody to break the tie. I don't know what to do. I, I just don't know what to do. What I like about this immediately is all of the packaging is completely compostable. Smooth, uh, soothing Makai Berry and Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid teams up with advanced pigment technology to wear light and last long. Build will finish for all skin types, all ages, all people. Another great thing about this is that there are 40 shades. Now, 40 shades in the clean beauty makeup market foundation makeup market is pretty extensive when it comes to a foundation shade range and you get 1.1 fluid ounce so an extra 0.1 fluid ounce than normal and it's 
charged with anti-pollution activities. Exa supports Women's Voices for the Earth, whose mission is to eliminate the toxic chemicals that harm our health and the planet. So this box, like I mentioned, is completely uh, post-consumer waste, tray made of compostable sugar cane, bottle made of recyclable glass, cap made from 100% recycled plastic, product formulated to the Credo Clean standard. I have a lot of high hopes for this foundation. This glass bottle looks really cool. I like the font. Um, let's see, it's in a pump, awesome. So we'll shake this up and I'm gonna put some of my hair back. And like a good old Tester Tuesday, I'm using natural light and whatever light is available so that you can see what skin really should look like and what product looks like on that skin. So I'm gonna pump, let's start with one full pump, the right side of my face first. I feel like the color match is pretty good. Wow. Wow. That covered a lot more than I anticipated. Look at that. It covered all of my little textural discoloration. Wow. And that color match is great. I was really concerned about the color match. This is nice. This is definitely nicer than a lot of the clean foundations I've played with. Ooh. I mean, you can still see my vein, but I feel like you can always see my vein even when I use concealer. Definitely like a dewier, radiant finish, but I'm okay with that because I rather have a radiant finish and add powder. Wow. I feel like saying winner, winner, chicken dinner, and that's so stupid. Bouncing my way along the left. I'm really impressed. Like, typically clean foundations don't feel this like gel-like and creamy in a positive way and give me such a beautiful coverage and match my skin perfectly and doesn't feel heavy. Like, even though it looks really radiant, it doesn't feel heavy or dewy. It just feels like I put a gel moisturizer on and it's kind of settling in. And I like how much coverage I'm getting with just the two pumps, one pump on each side of my face. And you can definitely build this up, I feel like. I also like that it's not streaking. It's not doing any weird grabbing onto my textural issues right here. Love love the finish right now. Immediate first impression, loving this finish. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and show you guys what it looks like. And then of course, check in throughout the day with my final thoughts at the end of the day, like always with a traditional Tester Tuesday. I am back with my full face of makeup. I also am wearing false lashes because I'm testing out the Eyelore Eyeliner Adhesive, which will be in next week's Tester Tuesday. So make sure you're subscribed and tune in next week. I am really loving this makeup. I think it looks really natural really glam for me but I could sheer it out or I can build it up so I always love products that are more versatile for my everyday life as you guys know I have definitely cut back on the amount of products I personally purchase accept and keep I just like being able to go through my products and feel like I'm getting use out of them especially just rotating my makeup around. I like having versatility for a product. And this, I can definitely start from the center of my face and sheer it out because the color match is so good or just focus on the areas of discoloration. I can also build this up quite high, I feel like for me, a definite medium and possibly even a medium full. Now there's those of you guys out there who love a really nice full foundation. This probably is not going to be the product for you unless you also have a powder foundation to kind of layer that over. And this I could see working well with the Alima Pure loose powder foundation to really give you that matte full coverage. For me, I like my skin to still look like skin, as you can see right now. Personal preference, this to me is going to be the most I wear for most things. Maybe uh, jazz up the eyes, bolder lip here and there, but for the most part, in terms of a base, this is the most I typically enjoy on my skin. It feels really lovely. It feels really lightweight. It doesn't feel greasy, heavy, oily, or drying. I think it's a really good foundation. And on top of that, the fact that it's got the Credo Clean Standard is really impressive to me. It's a $38 foundation, and it is 
is on that mid-level price point, but it's not the most expensive I've seen in terms of clean beauty, and it's definitely not the most affordable I've seen either. But when it comes to clean beauty, I definitely feel like sometimes they overcharge because they typically are indie brands that have to pay a little higher for the ingredients and for manufacturing, and they pass that on to the consumer. Also, when it comes down to packaging, a lot of cleaner brands also care about sustainability and the efficacy of their packaging and how um, compostable or recyclable the packaging is. So again, that cost goes back to the consumer. So I think EXA did a really good job at finding a good price point while still sticking with the ethics that Credo Beauty likes to stick to. I also really love that they immediately launched with 40 shades. That is unheard of in the clean beauty market as far as I'm concerned. And I love that it comes in a pump. I think you get a nice amount of product. I can see myself reaching for this quite a bit, especially since I won't feel as guilty guilty wearing it every single day if I wanted to wear it every single day because it's it doesn't have any of those like synthetic nasties that I worry about. It doesn't have any weird fragrances. It doesn't smell funny. It, I didn't notice a smell whatsoever and I normally am very sensitive to scents and being pregnant, I'm like hyper sensitive to scents. If, if I had a superhero power, it would be the sense of smell at this point. I'd be pregnant with the sense of smell and the ability to sweat through everything because I am a hot sweaty mess. I will update you guys on how this wears at my at the end of the day. It is really hot and humid here for LA. We'll update you guys with whatever light, lighting is available. So right now it's good afternoon lighting and it, it's also noon when I applied to this. We'll wear it for at least eight to nine hours so you can see how it's wearing. And then if you have any update questions or how I'm liking it further down the line, check out my blog, serenewoo.com. That's how I've decided I'm gonna do these. If I do Tester Tuesdays, which I will try to be consistent with, but sometimes I just don't get to testing a new product or there isn't anything that's been interesting me that week. I will also update you guys on my thoughts because I continue to test out these products and I let you know if I'm still using it, if I think I'm gonna still use it, or if something happened that I didn't anticipate it happening and I'm gonna end up giving it away or donating it or tossing it responsibly. So check out my blog and don't forget to also sign up for my monthly newsletters over on my blog because I do huge, 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 beauty and wellness giveaways every month for my newsletter subscribers over on the blog. You just have to give me an email. I email you at most once a month. And then if you want to know more updates, I do weekly updates occasionally when there's things to update you guys on. I promise I try not to spam you guys. Um, I respect your emails because I know emails can be very overwhelming. So I always want to be like a positive inbox <laughs> uh, notification, not a negative one. I will check back in a few Hours. Okay, so it is almost 7 p.m., about 15 minutes from 7, and I thought I would come up here next to the window to show you a close-up of what the foundation looks like after about seven hours of wearing and before I lose natural light, and then you'll see this in my bathroom light, which has kind of got that weird tingy orange. I'm really loving this foundation. I think it's wearing really nicely. As always with my Tester Tuesdays, I like to show you what skin should really look like. So this is going to be like, you're going to see texture guys. It's okay. I've been rubbing my chin a lot actually, and it looks like it's still on. There's no weird pilling, especially in this area that typically is patchy. And the product still looks good like especially when i'm around here it looks really good and this is like ultra hd so typically what you see on screen is like way less forgiving than what you see in real life foundation's killing it uh, i did take off my lashes and eyeliner because i was wearing this stupid belly band and I kind of uh, started losing my eyesight. At first I thought I might be experiencing preeclampsia, but I have no other symptoms. And I realized it was this, because I took it off. I can see again. It looks really good. Really happy with it. I haven't sweated too much. It has been warm, but I haven't felt like I was like super sweaty or anything like that. But 
it looks i love it i'm i'm really digging this foundation i'll check back before i wash everything off in a couple hours it is now 10 30 i've had this foundation on for 10 and a half hours and i am loving it what's so interesting is that it doesn't look super oily or shiny and there isn't any breakup around my nose if any foundation has worn off it's worn off evenly and not done anything flaky or weird which is always a good thing pretty happy with how it looks this camera definitely picks up every pore and every texture it's a 4k camera it looks a lot better in person than it does on camera but i would say 10 and a half hours on a hot humid day is putting it through the ringer. I do recommend it on first impression, but I will update you guys in a blog post. I filmed these about a week and a half, two weeks in advance, so I will have an updated information in the blog post because I write those later after I've tested it out longer. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Tester Tuesday. Tune in next Tuesday for another Tester Tuesday I've already filmed, which is a cool new eyeliner adhesive from Eyelore. And if you have any product recommendations or suggestions that you want me to test out on camera, leave them in the comments and check out the description box. And I will see you guys back here every Sunday for weekly vlogs, Tuesday for Tester Tuesdays or beauty videos, and Fridays for any spa, professional facials, facials, ASMR or skincare videos. Bye!